play every game the same, but you know, it, I had an extra pep in my step because coach told me he really wanted this team, wanted, really wanted it, I really wanted it. I don't like losing, I'm a winner. Tell me about how special the feelings are now about what this group is going to be able to accomplish. Of course, you come in with Kamari and all the other weapons that are on this Raider team. Do you feel something special here? I mean, it's very special, but no doubt. Nine yards per carry here tonight. He fakes the handoff, he wants to throw. He's under duress. Bowden reverses his tracks, finds an opening. He's to the 35, 30, stellar step, 20, 15, 10, 5. Bowden fighting his way in, touchdown, unbelievable. When you're winning, there's always gonna be haters. So we look forward to that, we look over the haters and we just continue to grind like, we did, like we've been doing. How good can this team be, do you think, Lynn? I mean, we could be really good. If we all just start, you know, just combining, coming together like we were tonight, you know, we'd be really good. Man, this is like, it just rushed to me. It's like tears almost started falling out my eyes, but I had to remember it's still football. I can't show emotion. I'm most proud of my team. You know, they, they got me where I was. You know what I mean? The accomplishments that we had from coming from a bad season to a good season going to uh, second round of playoffs, that's, that's what I'm most proud of. Bolden will keep it himself. Cutting the corner, he's to the 20, 25, 30, down the sideline! Have yourself a night! Lynn Bowden will find Peter. He's in! Touchdown! So many big plays. It's nothing new for you to, to have those electrifying runs, but to have it on a big stage like this, tell me what's going through your mind. What kind of emotion when you're able to do that for your team? You know, um, I really don't show emotion, but you know what I'm saying? I got to give it up to my, uh, my receivers, my linemen, and my... Uh, tailbacks you know without them I couldn't make anything happen when I told you how many rushing yards you had before we came back onto the air 368 yards do you even impress yourself with all the success that you're able to have um no you know with the, uh, with the offensive line I got you know it's expected for me to run backs receivers you know to run for those type of numbers so you know um, we, we prepare for things like this and we just go forward how dangerous can this team be? You know, we could uh, be dangerous throughout the season. You know, we showed uh, a couple of things. We haven't foot played to our full potential, I mean, potential, you know, so uh, we should be good. Need to do that here. Bowden, direct snap. He's to the 30, 35, 40, down the sideline. Lynn Bowden, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Now talk about what it means to come into this stadium, one of the best stadiums in the country, and get a victory. I mean, it feels great. You know, this is my first time ever playing at Madison. You know, this is a beautiful stadium. But to come in here just to, just to do what we did tonight, man, make me feel real good. First time that he would touch the ball came here. A punt by Heights. Bowden gets under it. And here we go. Coming to the near side, gets us a couple blocks, and turns on the Jets. Outruns everybody. 75 yards for this. You know, we started off a little slow. We got down um, 28 to 7, I don't believe. But, you know, we don't uh, pay attention to the scoreboard. Talked to him at halftime, told him we got to attack, attack. You know, we just came out and did what we were supposed to. BBN. Hey. 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 Uh. Hey. I'm standing at a table full of cats. I'm standing at a table full of cats. Trust me, man, you can't worry, set. We dominate, you know it, that's a fact. Hey, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, is you? If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, is you? I'm trying to see us take off like a rocket. I team up stop a ball, who gon' stop it? Who gon' stop it? Don't worry, we got toes up in the pocket. Up in the pocket. If we get the block and boom, won't drop it. Who won't drop it? I'm tryna see that man Briscoe true. Man true, man. I'm tryna see that boy Ulysses. Come on. Clear the lane, look at Murray finna lead. This year, final four, three P. Back. We back. We been grinding 52 weeks. Oh yeah. Nightmares from last year, can't sleep. Can't sleep. Ain't worried, we got scale market sleep. You feel me? Put Hawkins in the game, he got D. I swear he do, man. I grew up in a town full of ballers. They label us as cheaters, what they call us. Things that did the best tradition, we're not holics. Don't be soft up at the rim, we blocking, blocking, get up. If he ain't got no haters, he ain't popping. If he ain't got no haters, he ain't popping, is it? If he ain't got no haters, he ain't popping. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't poppin' this We made the world mad, they in they feelings John Cal, he the coldest, he the realest He been killing the game, y'all the witness Jody in Knoxville, he made you witness Jojo Kemp a line out of jungle You lucky, but ain't here to make you fumble Stoops been making noise, you hear the rumble If you think you 
getting past this, we gon' stop you. We gon' stop it. If he don't intercept the pass, the forest got you. If we running up the middle, let Elon spot you. Man, get the bottle bone, let it fly. We ballin' like we young, let it fly. I grew up in a town full of ballers. This shit we goin' ballin' ain't no option. We layin' out opponents like we bossin'. I'm BB in the finish, bye bye, watchin'. If he ain't got no haters, he ain't poppin'. If he ain't got no haters, he ain't poppin' this shit. If he ain't got no haters, he ain't poppin'. If he ain't got no haters, he ain't poppin' this shit. Taylor Davis here with class of 2017 Lynn Bowden. Now we're out here at the Ohio State Friday Night Lights camp and tell me a little bit how your experience went and just what how it was overall. I mean the experience it was great you know what I mean having um, a lot of people coming across the country you know I'm from Ohio so you know we like football up here so it, it was just it was uh, a blessing to be up here and it was a great time. Okay so now talk to me a little bit about the offers that you already have. Name a few of the ones that are most important to you right now and name a few schools that are interested in you right now. Uh, West Virginia, you got teams like Kentucky, um, Penn State, you got uh, Pitt, you got Wisconsin, you know there's a, a couple other teams but you know I'm not going to talk too much into that but I mean they, all, they have a, a lot of love for me and I have a lot of love for them hopefully I get an offer from Ohio State. Okay, awesome. Now, are you planning any official visits already for your senior year? Uh, not yet. I'm still waiting for a couple offers to roll in, and then when I do that, then that's when I, um, I plan those. Okay, so now what do you plan on working on through your senior season to get better to play at the college level? Just being a better teammate like Coach, Be I mean, Coach uh, Meyer said. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, and good luck at the next level. Thank you. I'm happy I, I left some type of a mark, you know, around this area, you know, from um, the things I did. You know, but I didn't do it by myself. So, you know, some of the people that didn't get credit should get credit. And that's why I always give them the credit. But, um, you know, I'm happy. What is, the, what is the next goal for you? I mean, what would you, what would you like to accomplish at the next level? Obviously, you've got a big choice coming up. But what do you want to get out of that choice? Um, just becoming a better student athlete. You know, uh, just being able to perfect myself in the uh, classrooms. You know, I have some good grades right now, but I know I could do much better. So, you know, I just want to be a better student athlete. So pleased to be joined by our player of the game. Was there any question? Lynn Bowden, 368 rushing yards himself, 106 passing yards. He accounted for six rushing touchdowns, one touchdown through the air. And Lynn, first of all, I know the team is the most important for you right now. Just know that your season is still alive. You're going to week 13. What's it feel like? Uh, you know, it feel good. You know, uh, the past couple years we went to week two. You know, um, kind of hurt us last year that we fell short. You know, this is a big win for us. Tell me about your performance here tonight. So many big plays. It's nothing new for you to, to have those electrifying runs, but to have it on a big stage like this. Tell me what's going through your mind. What kind of emotion when you're able to do that for your team? You know, um, I really don't show emotion, but you know what I'm saying? I got to give it up to my, uh, my receivers, my linemen, and my uh, tailbacks. You know, without them, I couldn't make anything happen. When I told you how many rushing yards you had before we came back onto the air, 368 yards, do you even impress yourself with all the success that you're able to have? Um, no, you know, with the, uh, with the offensive line I got, you know, it's expected for me to run the backs, the receivers, you know, to run for those type of numbers. So, you know, um, we, we prepare for things like this and we just go forward. Warren Harding, three wins shy now of a state title. I know it's one game at a time, but this team is playing with an awful lot of confidence right now, isn't it? Yes, sir. Um, you know, we take week by week, but um, week five, you know, here we come. Congratulations. Go enjoy this one with your team. Thank you. Go Raiders. We uh, had a good, great week of practice. I'm not even going to say good. It was a great week of practice. We all was um, focused. We uh, worked on our fundamentals. You know, we, um, we paid a visit to the video last year that went uh, viral. You know, had a couple thousand views on it. We, uh, we watched it before we came over here. You know, and the uh, attitude that we got off of it, it was a great attitude. You know what I mean? So we, we came out and did what we had to do. Uh, a couple of your touchdown runs, improvising as you always do, but uh, tell us what you saw in a couple of those runs. Um, you know, my, uh, my line, you know, they, they, they did an outstanding job. You know, uh, I followed my uh, young guy, K-Ron Adams, a couple times. You know, he uh, led me through, you know, um, and coaches tell me all, all the time, follow my running backs, they lead me to the promised land. And talk about the end of the game. You're calling plays. Did the play work that you called? 
Yeah, yeah, you know, um, you know, me and the guy, we just joked around a couple times, called a couple plays, you know. They, they got a couple passes on us, we got to get back to the board. All right, well, you have to work on that. Now, you can make them run, run the steps this week, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know, um, we plan on uh, getting in the lab tomorrow. You know, we get better, get ready for morning. Stand up! Stand up! Let's go! Stand up! Let's go! Stand up! Let's go! Stand up! Let's go! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Uh oh! Big Blue Nation got these people hating, talking about we ain't the best, but that's a false statement. Where we come from, man, this game's a way of life, so When you play us, get ready for a fight. Big Blue Nation got these people hating, talking about we ain't the best, but that's a false statement. Where we come from, man, this game's a way of life, so When you play us, get ready for a fight. Let's get it. It's the Wildcats hey. from Kentucky. We ain't on your schedule. Think your charms like lucky. <laughs> I don't have to explain what would happen on the court. Nope. But you'd say that it's just wrong like a Jerry tipped a news report. Terrible. I'm American. Yeah, that's what they call it. Yep. Before we went the states, man, Kentucky's where we buy it. Bluegrass state. Yep. With tradition in our roots. When you come to Rupp Arena, get lost in a sea of go? gold. Big Blue Nation got these people hating. Hey, hey. Talking about we ain't the best, but that's a false statement. Sure. Where we come from, man, this game's a way of life. Yes, sir. When you play us, get ready for a fight. Let's go. Big Blue Nation got these people hating. Uh -huh. Talking about we ain't the best, but that's a false statement. No Where we come from, man, this game's a way of life. Uh -huh. So when you play us, get ready for a fight. These people say we're dumb. What? They call us kitty cats. We only need to count to seven. Can your team do that? They can't. Then they say we cheat. Nah. Now they write our players' checks, but that's just that jealousy. They want that Kentucky effect. Yes. Now with John Calipari leading the troops in blue, you can bet that number eight will be hanging in there soon. Champion. Then you'll be upset while you're looking at one another. What? Admitting that you'll always be little baby brother. Uh -uh. Big Blue Nation got these people hating. Hey, hey. Talking about we ain't the best, but that's a false statement. Sure. Where we come from, man, this game's a way of life, yes, sir. When you play us, get ready for a fight. Let's go. Big Blue Nation got these people hating. Uh -huh. Talking about we ain't the best, but that's a false statement. No Where we come from, man, this game's a way of life, uh -huh. sir. When you play us, get ready for a fight. This is our year, man. 2012. And 13, and 14, and so on. We don't rebuild, we reload. Shout out to KSR. Peace. Let's talk about you, man. What, five, six touchdowns tonight? Uh, I don't, I don't even know. Tell me, hey, five, six, hey, six, one got caught back. Hey, man, let's talk about your performance tonight and how do you think how you think you did? I mean, most and foremost, I got to give my shout out to my line. You know, I couldn't do anything without them and uh, the coaching staff. But um, my my half, I think I did pretty good. I can uh, do better. Nine wins out of ten games. Now it's on to week number eleven. You're just celebrating this victory here tonight. But this team is heading into postseason play with plenty of confidence. How dangerous can this team be? Now, is it a lot of pressure on you, man? You play the quarterback position, but you're really an athlete. And they know you're getting the ball. They know you're about to break for 70. Is it a lot of pressure on you because they everybody's trying to stop you? Nah, you know, I'm a, I'm a cool, calm, collected person. So, you know, I don't let, let things get to me. You know, I just focus on what I need to do and what the coaches tell me what I need to do, and I just go get it. Lynn Bowden joins us now. 253 rushing yards, six touchdowns. Before we get to your performance here tonight, to get a win against Halland, your senior year, how special is it? Oh, uh, it's very special. You know, we won, we won last year, but we wanted to uh, make sure we got this dub. You know, we uh, was fighting for a home playoff spot, and that's what we got. Tell me about your performance tonight. It seems you have such an ability to make things happen. You're hemmed in, and then the play is far from over. You did that so many times tonight and through your career. How special was this performance tonight for you? Well, you know, it wasn't my performance. It was my team performance. You know, uh, I would drive off that energy. You know, they got the blocks that they needed to get, and, you know, I clapped the laws off of that. 
A lot of people out here yelling, Ohio Mr. Football, Lynn Bowden. Your performance tonight is Ohio Mr. Football worthy, that's for sure. Right, thank you, thank you. You know, uh, that's not nothing I'm worried about right now. If I come down the line, then, you know, I'd be grateful. But, you know, we want to say championship. Go enjoy this one with your teammates. Congratulations on a great win. Thank you.